Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I installed my fish finder. It's already installed. I'm just gonna take this out and show you guys exactly how I have it. So this is a side scan transducer and I've got the Navarre kayak fishing mount for the Garmin transducer for the Hobie Lynx. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy that. Um, it just slides right on here and then it comes with the hardware to tighten it and lock it in and all you got to do is feed your wire through the scupper hole, put this back and then you put your two screws in. It's super easy. It's only three screws that hold the mount to the transducer and then one bolt with a nut that holds that transducer mount to the under the Hobie fish finder plate right here. And as far as I know, this is also the same one that's on the Passport. So uh, you could use this for the Passport ones too. So I'm gonna flip the boat over and I'm gonna show you how I ran my wiring and everything. All right, so here's my two wires. This is your transducer and power. Transducer's orange, power's red. As you can see here, this is where the transducer wire comes up. I kind of shove a little extra down there. So I have a little wiggle room. Um, not coiled up right here. And as you can see, this is the Nakwa battery uh, adapter that I've tied into the power cable. And I've got this all sleeved up, but I have this ran right here under this bungee. And then my Nakwa battery hangs off my black pack and plugs right in. It keeps it nice and elevated high and dry on, on the side of the black pack. <clears throat> and then, so this is the original paddle holder. This is the paddle holder that I have now, which is the Yak Attack double header uh, roto grip, because this one's terrible, but this is pretty nice for wire to hold your fish finder wires. So I just have them all coiled up, and this is just a, a computer cable management sleeve, basically. So you can cable manage all your wires behind your computer. Works great for this too. It's a neoprene uh, material. It's white, so it kind of blends in with this. Uh, Hobie, so I think they come in black and white and they may come in a, like a tan or something too, or gray. But uh, I got white, blends right into this. It's nice and neoprene, keeps all the wires together. Tucked away, as you can see, these wires are a little bit bulkier. If you go with the striker, they'll probably be able to fit the entire wire up in this. But because these are thicker wires on the Echo Maps, um, I had to coil them a little bit longer just so it would fit and it just zips right up. So you, you coil them up, zip tie them, whatever, and then you throw this thing around and it zips right over top of it. And then I use the paddle holder to kind of keep it right here and nice and out of the way. So yeah, that's how I ran the wiring, which is super easy. Keeps everything out of the way, especially with these A-trails because I'm not really using the paddle holder. I'm not using anything down here. All, all my tools and rod holders and fish finder and everything's on these rails. And then the cool thing about the eight rails is I can still use that bottom rail for my paddle holder. So it almost has two levels and you could do the same thing on the other side if you had an anchor stick because they sell these uh, roto grips that are for their parking pole which also work for the super stick and the power pole too. It's a little bit looser. I think the uh, push pole is a little bit thicker, but it still works fine. And then you can get these two, these leashes too. So you can have that on both sides. I just keep mine right there on the rail. I don't use the left side of the eight rails for anything other than that. And that's also in the VAR uh, anchor pin adapter kind of thing. It mounts to any track. So that is just purely for my anchor spike and then I have like a rope cleat down there if I want to tie off somewhere. But as far as cable management on the fish finder, that's it, that's all I did. Uh, battery to the back, transducer wire, all coiled up into this, kept tidy by that thing, ran underneath the H-rail, and then I have a H-rail adapter ram ball for the fish finder. So hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, if you're installing a fish finder on links, it's super easy, um, it's not hard to do and it's actually easy to change fish finders out because there's just two screws on the bottom and that transducer mount. Uh, there's no through hole fittings and stuff like that like I've dealt with in the past. I didn't really care for this above 
uh, the whole wiring system when I first saw it, but after having it and installing, being able to change fish finder out with no big deal, or uh, just being able to install it with no big deal. So if you have to take it off for any reason, it's not a hassle. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.